So today my presentation is called Site Management, Site Management with DNN Prompt. And, um, you know, working a lot with uh, DNN, a lot of times with the persona bar, I don't, I really never pay attention to a lot of these things, a lot of these menu items that I don't use, like prompt and um, scheduler and that uh, type of thing. And so I saw in the backlog of uh, topics for presentation topics, uh, one was to look at the um, the prompt command here under the, the gear icon, and it was pretty interesting. So um, I've only been working with it for about a day, so I don't I uh, don't know, not an expert at all. But I thought it, some of the things I found out pretty cool. And so um, if anyone else has been using it um, and knows a lot more about it, maybe after the uh, presentation we can talk about it and. Um, you know, get your experience using it. So to get started, let's talk about uh, what DNN prompt is. So it's a command line tool found in the DNN persona bar here under the gear icon. Uh, it offers built in commands that speed up common site management tasks, like maybe creating users or creating pages. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's extensible and so developers can create custom commands um, you know, if 10 pound needed some, uh, you know, a way of efficiently managing pages or sites, we could create our own uh, command to use in the prompt console. And um, it's accessible only to super users. And I think it was added in um, version 9.2 a while back. Um, so why would we use DNN prompt? Uh, and just to also to, to say that this is a quick overview presentation, and then we're going to go into the um, actual console and show you um, some of the things that we can do. So uh, for repetitive tasks, we'd want to use it, maybe deleting pages, uh, uh, you know, having to click through the UI a lot gets tedious. Uh, and typing, I find, is, on a command line is, is a lot quicker, more efficient. Um, re return data about modules, pages, you know, uh, we can, find, you know, get a tab IDs quickly, we can you know, see what modules are on each page, um, things like that. Uh, we can you know, do config tasks uh, without multiple clicks of UI, as I mentioned before, so it gets tedious having to go back and forth on the persona bar and everything fly out and, and add a page, you know, and go back and click, add a page, et cetera. Um, and then uh, we'd want to use it, as I mentioned before, like for custom tasks unique to an organization. Um, some of the basic, most basic commands are the help command, and that returns a list of the command categories uh, and the most common commands with their descriptions. Uh, the list commands does exactly what it says. It returns a list of all available commands um, and their descriptions, and then the exit command, which will close the prompt window. Um, so common tasks, just from my limited amount of time working with it, um, I found it was kind of you know helpful to add, update, delete users, um, you know, manage user roles. Uh, you can quickly clear uh, clear the cache, restart the application, um, page management. You can move and copy modules from page to page. They also have a command called add module, but I couldn't get that to work for some reason, and I probably need to research that a little more. Um, and then quickly set page mode. So you can type a command, and I'll, you know, put the page in edit mode or layout mode or view mode. It's pretty cool. Um, and so is it more efficient for site management? Some of the pros that I've found uh, were I liked typing commands quicker than clicking through the UI. I thought that was really cool. Um, I liked seeing a list of data with all of the different um, uh, you know, parameters, whether it's the tab ID or the paths or the user roles. It's all in one place. Um, and I would, I'm not sure if, you know, um, I haven't used the SQL, uh, SQL commands a lot. So it seems like to, to do that in the past, you'd have to you know, run SQL command to get all the tab IDs or, or, or uh, something like that, but this returns all of that uh, pretty quickly. Um, and it's also customizable, as I mentioned before. Uh, some of the cons are, I, I think to 
if, to get an efficient workflow going, it just it's a learning curve. You just have to use it a lot and and think to use it. Um, sometimes it's just quicker to click things, and um, so it might just be for for our workflow it might might not work, but maybe we can find a way to to use it. Um, um, so that's helpful, more efficient. Um, and one other thing I didn't like, it, it always requires clicking the persona bar. I wish I wish there was a, I noticed that the persona bar isn't accessible through keyboard navigation, which would be nice if they added that, um, or if there was some type of shortcut we could add to just open it up without having to go in and, and click every time. Um, because if you're going to use the command line and always be on the keyboard, it's just helpful to not have to use the mouse at all. Um, if you, you know, typing errors can decrease efficiency uh, where, you know, you could just either you could click through um, your edits or um, manage the site with, you know, by clicking or through the UI, it's not going to throw an error, right? You know, you're not going to type anything wrong. Um, and there are some limitations of the command options. Like when we'll see when we try to create a page, you know, there are certain options that we could set, but I think the UI has has more options that we that we can set that we can't do through the um, the prompt console. And then there's no sorting options. So it's like if you wanted to sort, you know, alphabetically, uh, there's no way to, no way to do that. But I think you know that we could um, you could you should be able to uh, develop a custom solution to sort uh, that should be um, that should be doable. So that's a really quick overview of um, what the prompt console is. Um, so let's take a look. I have two sites. I have our staging site and then I have it on 10 pound. Um, uh, I'll do a lot of the edits on staging. I'm not going to do it, on, but I wanted to show you some stuff on the 10 pound site because it's a newer version of DNN um, and it's a little different. Um, and I think this staging is got running 9.9. .9. So to get to the console, uh, get to go to the prompt under the gear. And um, that always does that, sticks. And most basic command I mentioned before was, was help. Type that, you get a list of all these commands um, by category. So we have general commands, host commands, module commands, page commands, all the way down. Um, uh, another, and then to clear it out, just do CLS, that'll clear it. Um, also, list commands is another one. And this does kind of the same thing, but without the categories. And so you can kind of see all the different commands. I prefer the, the help one because um, there's a few other options that I'll show you now. Um, so if you, could, if you clicked on any of these, uh, so if we did like a module, um, list modules, then you can, it'll, if you click help before any of these commands, it'll give you flags that you can use. And so if we're on the staging, we're on the um, the root portal there. If we if we type list modules, it'll give us all the modules and all the pages that they're on, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, module ID. And I noticed something like here, if we did this on our 10 pound site, one cool thing is, is like we could find how this doesn't have a title, but um, this one, or there's something that we could probably do to fix that, unless that, I don't know what's that. But sometimes the modules don't have titles and you could easily find which models don't have, modules don't have title, titles by going and they have your, their, um, the page that they're on added to pages. And to go to a page, you would just, um, get the, the tab ID and one of the commands is um, go to. So we want to go to 22. And it takes us there, which is a development page. Um, and then back here, we could do, uh, or is it list pages? Let me. So this is a part of like just having to do it over and over until you under to you memorize the the different commands so you can use it more fluidly and efficiently um, with pages. Uh, yeah, list pages. 
and give us the path. And so if I wanted to create a new page, I could put help new page. And that'll give me all these different flags I can use. So the flags are I can put it under a parent, give it a title, a name, URL, description, keywords, and if it's going to be in the the um, the navigation. So if we did that, um, uh, be, um, and we'll just do visible. You don't have if you don't specify the URL, um, it'll give it uh, the auto generated URL that it always does. Oops. Say true. OK, so we got that and if we refresh the page, this is another thing that doesn't work. You should you're supposed to be able to. Um, Reload. And uh, do that, but let's see if it added it to the pages. Yep, down here. And so all of these options display menu. Um, and if I wanted to view it. Go there. And then say I. Um, Didn't like that URL. Um, quick. I could change. Um, so the, yeah, this is a, another limitation. You have to know the the tab ID. Um, so so I'd have to go back. Um, uh, maybe another quick way of doing it, but. Um, Yep, so 1671. Um, um, let's see. URL. So if I went to new test URL, it's there now. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, I, I won't go through all these because it can get pretty tedious, but um, if you want to list, like so if we said help list users, it gives us all these options. So. We can specify username or we can just say list users. So um, here's all the users for the uh, staging site. If you wanted to add one, I'd go help add user. Um, oh, new user. Yeah, so. If there are no spaces, you don't need to add quotes. Um, email. You could just pretty much copy that about run. Um, yes, right. So if we go to our user, so if we list users, you see that new user created down there with user ID. You can list the roles, you can assign roles, um, things like that. So just trying to give you a general um, idea of what some of the things you can do. And that help command is really, well, it's helpful. So um, you could list all of these, all the different things you can do. Um, uh, and then I noticed, like, our, I was able to, 
uh, install. Uh, there was a Upendo. They um, let me show you. Uh, they added a um, an extension to this. They extended it, uh, and they added these different commands here. I couldn't up. I couldn't install it on staging site because the version was too low. But now they have all of these different things, so you, you could um, set demo users. So you can create these demo users right off the bat. It automatically creates like two or three different demo users if you need them. Um, shows you the themes that you have. Um, you can set a pop up for login. Turn that off. You can set your the captcha for the login. Um, you can impersonate. I thought that was pretty cool. You can impersonate any role. So if you need to, you know, see if a module is accessible, you can impersonate a role. Um, you know, that's assigned to that module without having to log in is that role. Um, so a lot of things could be uh, make site management more efficient. Uh, right now, at the level I know, it seems kind of tedious. So, but I, I can see it. Um, I, w I just wish I could access the the prompt window through the keyboard without having to click. Um, but other than that, I think it, I think it's it's pretty cool. And um, I don't know if any of you guys have used it or any of you um, have done some cool stuff with it. But um, pretty much that's a general overview of the, of the prompt console and what you can do with it. Has anyone else used this before? I know Dustin mentioned in, um, in one of our meetings probably a couple months ago now. Yeah. And if there's something that you want to see, I, we can we can run it. Um, I think. Yeah, it'd be cool if Dustin was here. Maybe he's used it more. He has more experience with it. I was curious if like batch commands work, like if I was to go and create a block of text with 10 commands for creating pages. Uh, could I just create that block, paste it in, and it would create the 10 pages or? Well, let's let's see. I mean, from what I read that you'd have to um, extend or you'd have to create your own custom, but that's a good, it's good uh, question. So let's try it. Uh, we'll just do it basically. Um, while you're kind of working through some of that, um, I was kind of thinking about that too, being able to create things in, in bulk. Um, pages could be a little difficult because like creating a page, needing to assign like a parent to that page. Maybe you're creating page one and page two is a child of that page, like how you can attribute that to it. DNN's UI for doing that isn't, it's not terrible because you can just put in the name of the page and then create like a greater than and then the next page that you're putting. So you can build out your scaffolding and create pages and bulk through the UI. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how prompt handle something similar. A lot of uh, like console UIs uh, basically take like a line break as move to the next command. Um, so I guess I guess the question was kind of whether it works with this or not, because if so, you could create a lot of bulk commands just by setting up your commands like notepad or something and pasting them in. Yeah, uh, this, this dude, I'll just copy this into um, and then change a couple things and we'll see. Um, uh, anything else? Say visible false. So if I take that, copy it. Um, second here. Is that what you're talking about? Like just kind of going in here and dropping that in? Yeah, basically. So it looks like it doesn't respect line bricks. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, but you can, if you use the up arrows, you can. Um, yeah. You can, you can just go back and then change it. But 
it seems to be, I don't know, do you think that would be quicker uh, to do it that way? So if we, let me get out of here. Um, and then you go back, yeah, you just put your title on. Yeah, so, but you don't have all the parameters like you get in the UI. Um, I mean, you could add really quick, and then if you needed to do a parent ID, you could just go in there and do that. I don't know. Um, but I mean, there's got to be a, you know, a really cool workflow that we could use. Like I'm Chris, I'm thinking of like on um, contact center pipeline, all of those users in different roles. D to get those, did you have to use like a SQL command before, or are you talking about the, like the reporting tool? Yeah, you're just to, to understand what who has what roles, um, or to understand even like what modules are on what pages. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, like, we, we have a handful of queries that that help identify the placement of items. OK, but it seems like unless I'm. Um, I can hear if we say list modules. Or it might be more be better here if we did it. Um, like it tells you what pages all of these are on. Mm -hmm. um, that seems to me more efficient to run in SQL command, unless you get more info with the. Yeah, can you click on like live forms? Is that a link that takes you to a view showing you? Um, doesn't seem like it. Okay, it, just... because when we would do a SQL for this, we would be able to get a, additional information like what's the module title, um, any. I don't, can't think of any specific details that you'd be getting from it, but um, the. So in that instance, is that right? That's that module is being reused in multiple pages. So that's tab ID. Yeah. Add that gotcha. Yeah. Um, Looks like it is a link. What what happens if you click it? Like opening yeah. it in a new tab doesn't work, but. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Oh. Can you copy that? It looks like there's a property. Like hover over it again. Copy. Uh, because it looked like there was a command it was trying to give you to. Oh. Maybe oh. not. Yeah, see like tooltip on it? Yeah, list, list module. module name. Member oh, directory. Okay. So, so if we, all right, so. However you get that. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if clicking it copies something to the clipboard, maybe? Yeah, maybe this, yeah, let's try it. Let's, and then it's X right here. Now, so let's see. Um, Might just be a formatting thing, I guess. Uh, too sexy. Let's get all the too sexy. Yeah, so those are all the too sexy modules. Um, whoops. Yeah, that's, that's the other thing at page, like at pages, and you can't say, show me 50 records, you know, you have to go through 11 pages of it and it doesn't sort. Um, uh, what was it, list modules, name, or HTML? Yeah, there's all the HTML modules, what pages are added, um, the title, so like a lot of them don't have titles, um, but the ones, yeah. Yeah, more case studies you could do. Um, just like, uh, maybe I spelled it wrong. I don't know. That was title. Um, uh, can we do that? Let's see. Yeah, OK, so that's the title. So those are the pages that it, more case studies are added to. 
So, yeah, just in general, kind of what the prompt does. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a, it could be useful? Or I guess that's what you were saying, Gabe. If we could batch create pages, that might be cool. I mean, you can still probably speed up some things, but. Yeah, I like that it's a somewhat guided technical way to look at a website, so it doesn't require you to write SQL to be able to get access to some larger chunks of data. Um, so if you're able to kind of walk through this documentation, you could start to extract that data from DNN. I wonder how like that copying of the information works. Like if you wanted to grab those record sets, the way the pagination is built, you might only be getting 10 at a time. So yeah, that might not be great for doing like bulk exports. Yeah, but I think you can extend, you know, you could you could create your own custom commands that list 50 at a time um, mm -hmm. or whatever. But like, and it'll give you hints too. Like, instead of if, if I used add page, it'll say there's no. You know, did you mean to use new page? So it'll help. You know, it'll offer hints like that, which is pretty cool. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Gorilla Learning Lab. We have a lot more banana tidbits for you to get ape over. Check out our other videos or visit our website at www.10poundgorilla.com. I'm swinging on out of here. Ooh, 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 you're not subscribed, that's bananas!